Huh. Hello there. Okay. Now I need to explain what the caravan is. Now, we'll walk in a certain way down with the caravan always in the center. And we go on top of it and press C. We'll go in it. Oh, are you ready for battle? Now we can purge someone. <laughs> yeah, it's a poor way of saying it. But we basically just remove them from the battle. And then there's join when we have more than... Yeah, we don't have any release. But then we can do the normal item stuff. And then there's a depot. Which we can look at something. Which but we don't have anything in it. He won't look at anything that's not in here. That's not in it. So we're going to put all the mithril we got in here. And a few other things. Thanks to the caravan, we now actually have item space to spare. Let's get rid of the silver tank. Oh. More mithril. Mithril, whatever. Not going to be using that healing water for a long time. Generally save that for boss battles. It was mithril. There was mithril. Power water, which I'm still not quite sure what I, who I'm saving that for. Not why. I know I'm saving it for someone, but not. Not, don't know who. Alright. So we'll look at something. There. It's a tool. Has a special effect when using battle. And it sells for 300. And you can buy it for 400, I believe. It's a silver tank. It's a tool. It has no effect. So as you can see, the appraise isn't very good. It's only really good if you put a certain piece of equipment in here and, it, and you can use it in battle and he can tell you that. But you have to find out for yourself what it does. Yeah, whatever. He just goes, it's a tool, blah blah blah, it's a weapon. If you look at weapons, he'll, it'll tell you who can use them. Anyways, let's go back to Hassan. And there's a couple new people here. Oh, hello. You the boy who killed the legendary Kraken? I came to Hassan, but thanks to you. I didn't know this was such a dull town. What's that? Caravan, an ancient vehicle. I love interesting things like that. Wow, you found it? I want to go with you see more interesting things. And then Rick, we had another knight. Rick. Um, a lot of people say Rick's better than Chester. Uh, Rick basically... Chester is all about the HP, Rick's all about the defense. But he somehow still has slightly better stats than Chester, usually. I've had bad luck with Rick and Chester ended up being better. And then there's this guy. Who is a weapon shop. There's a broadsword, battle axe, power spear, robin arrow, flail, and leather glove. Wow, this is awesome stuff, but there is a catch to all of this. A number of this stuff you can't use until you're promoted. Like the glove? We don't know anyone who knows how to use a glove yet. Can't use the flail. Well, the robin arrow is the first um, projectile that has the one extra range. And it'll stay like that, but can't use it yet. And then there's a power spear, battle axe, and broadsword. <coughs> now, here's the thing. The battle axe and power spear, we can use. Like, the knights can use them. Hold on. I think Rick comes with one. No, he doesn't. Let's get rid of his lance anyways. He's got Luke syndrome. He comes with a, not the best equipment. But then again, it's understandable. He probably never talked to that merchant. Get rid of that spear. And that steel lance, because we can use the power spear. And we also give her the power axe, which we didn't use for very long, did we? Power spear. Which will make uh, Rick and Chester pretty good. Uh, what's his attack? Oh, they got the exact same attack. Isn't that interesting? And then the battle axe. Which gives you a huge attack pattern. Okay, I'll try and buy a broadsword. Can't use it. He can't use it, and he can't. Aw, oh, shucks. Let's try the robin arrow. And they can't use it. Flail? Nope. <laughs> and no one uses a glove yet, so... Oh well. Okay, let's do a little comparison. Um, 39, 44, 25, 25. So yeah, he's got more defense, more agility, less HP, same attack. Overall, Rick's just a little better than him. But whatever. But with, also, with Rick, um, we have a full party now. We have 12 people. 200 gold, ooh. You remember the last video I said you could probably be poor if you kept life, having everyone die? 
I don't understand. <laughs> like, like 200 gold, how could you be poor? Alright, let's hard save. I only use save state between videos, like at the end of the video. Alright, so... Like I said, we could promote someone. Oh yeah, when someone joins, that the level they come with is generally like the average level, like the level you probably should be if you've been leveling up decently. But we are apparently a little ahead. Well, kinda. We got a couple people who are 18. Well, one Jahar. Nonetheless. Now here's another part that usually stumps people. They get all proud of themselves that they finally figure out the whole Achilles thing and all that crap. But then they don't know what to do after that. What you're supposed to do is not go that way because the river's dried up. So what I'm going to do is just going to follow the river for a little bit. That way, um, I don't know where the raft is, which is near the Polka Cave. We're going to go west. We could go back to Grand Seal, but there's no point. Yeah, yes, this is a dried up river, and we can go in the caravan and go across it. That usually stumps people if they don't think to, you know, try that. I w don't worry, I didn't either. Now, if you go south, um, this is a desert around Hassan. You could have came up here, but I just didn't want to take the chance of having a random battle and wasting my time casting ingress. Let's go in here. This is interesting music. Hey, buddy. We came from Grand to look for Mithril. Well, I've been finding more than you, apparently. One of us went to look for the fairy. I hope he's alright. Cold. I'm so cold. Oh, I don't think I don't think he's feeling too good. Recent earthquakes have buried a tunnel. My friend is sick, and we can't dig a tunnel without him. Mm. Let's check this fireplace. We find a dry stone. Huh. That's an odd item. It's also going to be Im immensely useful. Anyways, let's put the dry stone away. I might make this as a short video, just explore a whole bunch, and then I'll wait the next video to do the battle that's coming up. Okay, so if we keep going west, we'll get into a battle. But, if you look, right here, the forest is a different shade than the rest of it, so let's walk in. And we'll find the hidden village of the elves. Elves living in a forest, I am not surprised. Anyways, let's go ahead and this house. Also, this is a great tune. Let's check this. There's nothing there. But you notice that when we check the bookshelf, usually we get like a useless knowledge, like this book of like Sega hints and stuff. But in that one, it says that there was nothing there. It's like we were searching. Elric is out. We have to find a fairy to help a sick dwarf. Forest of the West is very dangerous. Yes, it is. There's a battle coming up I just do not like. Well, here's that dwarf. Do you know her? Fairy? She has not returned from Creed's mansion. Oh, yeah, Creed. You stay here as long as you like. If you look here, we find fairy powder. I'll keep that on hand just in case. And put on Sarah. Or should I? I'll put it on Slate, actually. I'll go upstairs and find a tough man. I guess he's supposed to be an elf, too. But maybe Elric knows because he's a friend of the fairy, huh? Find a secret book, and that's why you can't really examine the bookshelves, because there's a secret book, and that is another promotion item along the lines of a silver tank. And there's the, uh, just the priest. You know, the, you know priest and priest. Alright, so... With that, we have apparently explored at least the houses, but there is way more to this village, as you can tell. So... We're gonna go west, around this. Oh, what's this? We'll look in here, and we'll find a Vigor Ball. Another promotion item. For who? I don't know. We'll find out. Now, in the Japanese version, there was a... There's supposed to be, like, bushes here. If you check behind here, there's a ring. A healing ring, and every turn you'll heal a few HP or something like that. But it was cut from this version. 
I don't know why. Maybe it was overpowered. Or maybe you just got it way too early. Anyways, if we keep going south, um... Is it around here? Where is it? Maybe it's more south. Okay. If you go east from here, you'll go into the secret battle area. That's actually rather difficult at this point. Mind you, you can use it to farm experience if you're lucky, but I wouldn't risk it. If you look in here, though, we get Mithril. And there, we have it fully explored the Elven Village. I think so. Well, in this version of the game, anyways. We only got 10 minutes. Jeez. Hmm, I should... Oh, oh I'm trying to... Need to... Yeah, fuck it, I'll just put stuff in the depot. Secret book. Bigger ball? Alright, nothing. I wonder how much we got. How much mithril do we have? One, two, three, four. Eight. We have nine mithril. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so. If I go into the next battle and do it completely, the video will be like 40 minutes, and I don't want it to be 40 minutes. So, I'm just going to go into the next battle and then just kind of show you what's going to happen, and not make any moves. See, like, one space left, and we go into it. You have to have this one. Usually you can be a cheap ass, and it, you would uh, walk up these mountains and then go around it, the trigger. And then you can, I think you can skip this battle, but, well, you can skip the rant, this is also a random battle, and you can skip the random battle, but th this one, I don't know if you can, I never really tried. But we got new stuff, we got orcs. You're probably wondering why they're not green. Well, in Japan, they have a tendency to think to, their orcs are like pig people. And then they got high priest, they got heal three. It's got a shiny ball. We can get that. It's an attack item. You just use it and it does a lot of damage. Orcs, I am not a fan of. They're basically just soul sours with more defense. <laughs> and HP. They have five movement? Yeah, they got five movement, so they move a little better. The other thing we saw is pink witches. Sorry, dark madams. Dark madams. We have freeze two. Nothing too bad, really. The gargoyles are a bit out of date. I don't know why they're quite, quite. I don't quite know why they are here. The arrow shooters are surprisingly still alright. And the soul towers are still pain in the ass. But yes. Just gonna keep it a nice short video. And when you join me next time, we'll continue this battle. And. Well. Hold on. Keep going west. Can I get. Oh, I can't look all the way. Alright. We'll finish this battle and we'll keep heading west to find Elric. Fairy and Creed and everything ever, ever.